The collection itself, it's the Michael Collins papers. Um, there are, it's, it's 25 cubic feet of material, so it's quite sizable, about 39 boxes of material, mostly paper, um, which could be NASA documents, uh, um, for example, um, some of the highlights include, for example, um, Collins's own copy of the Apollo 11 flight plan which he signed and uh, noted it to be the real McCoy. He wrote the real McCoy on it and signed it uh, just to let people know that it was the real thing. You just get um, just an incredible richness and you get a sense of who Collins is, I think, by um, just seeing how he goes about his business. You know, his training manuals are informative. I mean, he did sort of stay more in the background in a way Yet there's also a way in which he had a much more productive um, life after NASA, you know, than maybe people knew about.